All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some repairs to some cracking. Um, it appears like it could be structural, we're not sure. Um, from the looks of it, it doesn't seem to go all the way through the fiberglass. And as we know, the boat doesn't leak, or so we've been told. So we're gonna go ahead and grind these cracks down and use epoxy with some fiberglass filler material to help create a structural yet uh, effective compound to fill the cracks and hopefully at the end of the year we won't see the return of any of these cracks. If not, then we're going to have to go ahead and repair this the proper way. So uh, coming up, uh, we'll show you by, we'll use 60 grit here to really scuff it up and get rid of the shine. And then we're going to go ahead and use a Dremel to grind the crack out wider. You want to make it wider so you can allow the, the epoxy to flow into it. And then you can go ahead, sand it, finish it, and paint it. At this time, we'll go ahead and wipe down the boat with a, a prep cleaner. Uh, we're going to use Total Boat since we're going to be using their series of products. So we're going to use their um, de-waxer and solvent. Next, you can go ahead and mix the epoxy and the hardener. Um, per pump, uh, they match so that way you don't have to worry about the mix ratio. Um, then I just keep adding the fiberglass filler until I get a nice thick consistency. Um, it will be on a vertical surface, so we want it to be pretty thick enough to stay on the surface and not roll over the side. Uh, once we're all set with that, we can go ahead and start applying it to the repair areas. I'm going to show you all the boring steps. So this is what it looked like after we sanded it with 60 grit, 120 grit, and then 220 grit. Um, we used both a combination of a power sander and sanding by hand in order to get a nice smooth finish before we started to put the primer coat on. Then we moved to the bottom side. Um, we used a wire wheel to prep it um, and get it ready for its primer coat and then we masked everything off. Um, it wasn't, we're not looking for a perfect finish, we just wanted to get all the loose flaky stuff off and the wire wheel accomplished that well. And then finally, we applied two coats of primer um, using a roller. Uh, we didn't use the conventional roll and tip method, we just rolled it on there. Uh, we're going for functionality and we don't, we're not too concerned about the look of it. Then we rolled two coats of primer on the bottom side as well. Uh, which came out pretty good. Uh, the primer filled uh, the unevenness pretty well. Then finally we applied two coats of the Total Boat top side wet edge paint. Um, although this is on the bottom of the boat, our boat doesn't stay in the water, so we just used it on the, uh, the bottom of the hull. Um, and we used it on the inside as well. Um, it provided a very nice finish. Um, it self levels really well, even using just the roller method. So I imagine with the roll and tip method, it could come out even better. And that was it. We went ahead and pulled the boat off the sawhorses, gently rolled it over onto its uh, the right side up, and then we slid it back on the trailer.